If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it. Are you looking for Rebel Clash codes? They are already available on Poton Store, as you can see, and you can use Tableman code for 5% off or for any purchase of all the other code cards they have. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tableman code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Hello everyone, so I have a very very special game here for you. We are going to be playing against, as you can see, who I'm challenging, a Joy friend aka Andrew Mahone from the Tricky Gene. And we are playing in a very special tournament, online tournament. This tournament is played in the 2017 NAIC format, right? I feel like the music is super loud. Um, 2017 NAIC format where he himself made top 8 with Zoric Drampa, which I imagine that's what he's playing. That season I got 2nd place at the Oceana International Championship with Deciplum, as you can see from what I'm playing. And, yeah, in order to accommodate for the rules that were available back then, we are both going to draw pass on our first turn, so we each get a bonus starting card in our hand. Right, so there's his draw and his pass. I will do the gentleman draw pass and now we begin, right? So obviously he can't evolve. I can't unless I find my forest of giant plants. And he made top 8 at NAIC. Um, I got second place at OCIC with Deciplum. So pretty cool match to be playing against him. And I also made top 8 at Worlds that year. So. Big fan of 2017. I didn't do so hard at NEIC. Um, I actually misplayed a little. Yeah. I actually misplayed a little, and the end essentially resets the advantage that I could have had. Um, but as long as we don't get a dead draw hand, uh, this is not great. I appreciate the Rowlet. I don't appreciate losing the two Decidio Eyes. Certainly don't appreciate losing the two Decidio Eyes. Does play the Via Seeger just in case I am able to find my um, my thing, my Vile Bloom on turn one. And now the question becomes, what do I do here? Do I go for the N or do I go for the Juniper? Or Sigamore rather. I feel like going for the Sigamore is a little too destructive at this point. So I'm not gonna go for it. Um, I would appreciate, of course, a forest here, not quite, not quite the forest we were looking for, and we can't evolve, we're just gonna have to pass. We have an okay hand for next turn though, not happy that I'm losing the grass, but it's not the end of the world. He knows I have the field lower in hand, that's all he knows really about my hand. Well, and that's, that it's also not very good, right? That it's also not very good. So, off to a decent start for both of us. I'm really happy that he's playing this deck though, because it's what he got to bait with, right? And it figures that... I mean, my list is a little bit different, because obviously uh, there was Guardians Rising um, that got released before... Um, not before, after I got second place out of Shiana. And we're gonna end. So this is the end merry-go-round. 
This is the end merry-go-round right here. Now I wish I had attached the flow stone to this Rowlet. It's fine though, it's fine. Should be fine. Now uh, we see an Ultra Ball. Alright. So it's definitely a tricky matchup though, because his Pokemon are very cost effective. In terms of attacking. They're very, very cost effective. Alright, another Zork. Yes, Seeker, so we're guaranteed to be end next turn basically. We are guaranteed to be end. There's a knockout on a Rowlet. Alright. So, our next move. Okay. Let's do this. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, Vex not really cooperating today. So, let's go ahead and find a Dark Tricks. I believe it's the first search I'm doing. I did price one stadium. So we know she's gonna be playing him. Oh my gosh. Oops. <laughs> well there's a misclick right there. I should I meant to grab the Rowlet. I was thinking of evolving Rowlet into Dark Tricks. Oh well. Oh well geez. That was very silly on my part. Very, very silly on my part. It's fine. <laughs> So I am recording this, this is part of a tournament on the Pokestat server, Discord server, they're running like old format tournaments. So in case you want to join any future ones, I'll definitely leave the link right here. Um, okay, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, and I really feel like I should continue to dig. Right, I really feel like I should continue to dig, so I'm gonna grab the Gloom right here. I will evolve and then I'll set up. Can't seem to find my forest though. Well, <laughs> I guess I spoke too soon. I have now found <laughs> all three of them. Right, I have now found all three of them. And alright. So we are able to get the lock going, that's good. I really will appreciate an end from Andrew right here. And then there's no need to damage on the bench to activate the Berserk. Bonus damage, we will be able to deal a hundred more damage. So Andrew now has to decide whether he wants to Righteous Edge my DC away or just Berserk for a little bit of damage. I guess I could have tempted him and placed the damage onto the bench. Um, if he has a DC, the Zork could just knock me out. That is also a possibility. Um, but we'll see. I'm really hoping Andrew will play the end here though. Because otherwise my hand is just absolutely horrendous. I really hope Andrew will play the end here. Complicated turn here for Andrew, I'm sure. He doesn't know my hand, so he doesn't know how bad it is. I can't believe I drew all three of my forests. <laughs> That's actually pretty hilarious. Please end me, Andrew. Please be a, a good friend. Just as your nickname says. Oh no. <laughs> That's not being a good friend, Andrew. That is definitely not being a good friend. Okay, so he does go for the Righteous Edge. Alright, that's a nice top deck. Do I just go for it? I feel like I should... Yeah, I've been rewarded. And I get the DT, that's absolutely fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. I will also take this opportunity to play this. And I will go ahead and take these two prizes, alright? Hoping that Andrew does not have 
and or does not find a DTE, right? Alright, so he's more in the mood to attack my energy, which seems fine, right? Seems like a fine strategy to go for. Seems like a fine strategy to go for. I can recover up to 3 DC with my GX attack, so I'm not super, super worried. Alright, so he does discard my energy, that's okay. There's a third grass right there. Is there anything worth recovering? I honestly think I should recover these two guys. So do I just attach the energy to this video I Or do I retreat? Um I'm actually not sure what to do here. I feel like attaching to the video is a good plan. Well maybe not so much. Maybe attaching to the Lele is better. He's only dealing 20 damage, right? No. Oh, I'm so unsure though. Okay, I'll split the energies, fine. I'll split the energies. Okay. Odd situation that we're in, right? Really odd situation that we're in. He won't be able to chain Hex anymore, so that's good. We know he has N in hand. But that means we will be able to start Feather Arrowing again. Yeah, there's the end that he got way, 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 way back. But every turn we're gonna get 40 damage going at least. There's a Zora Break. And Big Wheels. Alright. It's understandable, that's a pretty good. GX attack to have in this spot. Uh, my Dark Tricks doesn't really do anything for me right here. I will, however, Feather Arrow. Yeah, I think that's my plan. So I'm gonna do this, and I wanna retreat, and I'm gonna Hollow Hunt. For the two DTEs, and he could just knock out my Bowbloom right here. That would be very, very problematic, honestly. Wouldn't be the end of the world, but could be problematic. Uh, I also don't have any more stadiums, so maybe not. Actually, I'll, I'll just do this. I think these three are the best cards to get. I might lose my Valplum right here. I might actually just lose my Valplum right here. I'd be very surprised if I don't lose my Valplum. But it's okay. I feel like we'll be okay even if that happens. We still have one Revitalizer, but we would be out of Valplum. Yeah, so I'd be, I'd simply be better off Just a DT and no Lysander, alright. That is honestly very interesting that no Lysander gets played. 
Okay. So... Thirty damage, one ten. So I'll do one feather arrow here, and then one feather arrow here. And I'm definitely just gonna sky return. And I'm honestly just gonna let him take the two prizes on the shaman. I don't mind letting him take the two prizes on the shaman. He's down two ends. I don't expect him to have another one. So after he knocks out my Shaman, I end him down to 3, and then I have full health, the CD eyes, possibly. Might even get lucky and top deck a Rowlet for a third one. That'd be fantastic. I also clear up my bench, therefore weakening his Mind Jack. Severely weakening his Mind Jack. I really hope the audio is fine. Alright. Definitely taking a while in each turn. Definitely taking a while in each turn. Oh, and we just see a knockout, so his hand must be really bad. No energy. Oh no, we did see an energy attachment. Never mind. Okay. So I can kill this guy with the CDI, that's good. I honestly think... Do I bench the Lele? Yeah, I think I bench the Lele. I won't, and then I'll just end. Yeah, having a fresh Lele will definitely be useful, and that DC is just really, really nice to see. Alright, so I'm gonna Feather... I have enough to kill this guy, yeah, I'm just gonna Feather Arrow that guy. He's at 80, so I need one more to make sure it can't go down. I'll actually put it on the Zorua to pressure the Zorua too. And we'll do this in case he wants to be fancy. Racer leave for the knockout. And we get a field lower of our prize cards. Very useless card. Andrew's down to three cards, over 30 card deck, no GX attack anymore. I can discard my energy, but I still have all of them available, so that's good. Like, even if I didn't have this one, I could Sycamore, right? We see a Lele, we might see an N right here. Could see a Lysander too. Could see a Lysander, I would not put it past him. Oh, we can set up another battle if we find the Revitalizer, which I do have available. I don't know if it's in there, I should, I should know, but I don't. I should know, but I don't. And grab Sycamore, as expected. I wonder if he's playing the arts that he played at the tournament. I wonder if he's playing the arts that he played at the tournament. Okay, he removes our stadium, not a big deal. Oh, that damage is so dumb on my part. Well, I guess it tempts him to not go for the Righteous Edge. Yeah, and he just goes for the Berserk, alright. So maybe that was a mistake on my part. Yeah, that was probably a mistake on my part. Um, so I do want to save the Decidui, right? I feel like I... Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna Feather Arrow here. And I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna go ahead and end him again, all right? Bring him down to three cards. I retreat, knock this guy out with my Lele. And then all I need to do is double Feather Arrow on the Zorg to win the match, all right? 
he shouldn't be able to kill this Lele. Um, only the Zora break saves him, and it saves him for a turn. I get a DT of the prize card, so that's really good. That's really, really good. Alright. Can we just double feather our okay off? Can we just win that way? Oh, uh, gets the Sycamore. I mean, that extends the game by one turn, though. Because Zora Break has on 40 HP, so it extends the game by one turn. He says well played. I'm guessing he's gonna choose to go first. And there's the victory. 1-0 against Andrew Mahone in this 2017 NAIC tournament. Alright. Alright. So, he says he'll go first. I'll send him the challenge. Okay, I'm glad that even though I made that silly mistake of grabbing a second Dark Trix <laughs> instead of a Rowlet, we were not um, punished by that. Okay, so I will choose to go second, right? And then I will draw pass, he will draw pass. No, he will draw pass, I will draw pass, and then we will start. Alright. Okay, so now we're good. Now we are good to go. Back to Lysander, down to the Seekers, down to Sycamores, that's also really good. Really good news. Alright, and then we see the pass. Okay. The Ultra Ball, not like fantastic. I do feel like setting up the, the CDO Ice is a little bit more important in this matchup. I think I'm gonna keep the Ultra Ball in the deck for now. Um. We know he has a Lysander. Well, he's not gonna have the Lysander, never mind. It's my other... Okay, my other Vitalizer is available, so you know what? I'm actually just gonna discard these two. And I'm gonna grab the Oddish. It really sucks that we priced an Oddish. It's not the end of the world, but it's not ideal. Then we'll go ahead and end. See what we can get here. Oof. Nothing too great. That's for sure. Nothing too, too great. So we're gonna go ahead and pass. Double light sender and a dead hand.
Lost the teammate, goes for Lele. That's just gonna be for an end, I hope so. That would be fantastic. That would be a dream come true if we played the Lele for an end here. I really would appreciate that, Andrew. I really would appreciate that with this hand. I mean, because how can you read that my hand isn't great, you know? How can you read that my hand isn't great? And Big Whale instead. I feel like you can't, right? Or you shouldn't be able to. I feel like you shouldn't be able to. There's the Lele. Lysander is due here. Definitely feel like I countered Lysander is due. And... I mean... Yeah. I feel like I have to give up on the Oddish if I want to do something in this game. Yep, there's a Sycamore. No Stadium. Interesting. Yep, there's the Zork. I feel like I'm dead here. I feel like I'm dead in the water right here. Not playing the stadium might be costly for him though. Because then he won't be able to Berserk for a KO on my Lucia next turn. Like, we're not out of it. We have outs. But it's a very awkward turn for sure. For us. And finds another DC. All right. Okay. I feel like not playing that stadium might cost Andrew a little. Okay, so I have to go all in, right? I really just have to go all in. So we're gonna set up for six. Goodbye, grass, too. <laughs> Goodbye grass, okay, so that's not super helpful. Uh, because my Oddish is priced, right? Alright, so I'll do this, and then I'll evolve. And then roll Sycamore. Okay, so no chance of that, right? No chance of Valplum this turn at least. I will be able to do a lot of damage. I do want to save that grass. I really do want to save that grass. Okay. So we're gonna go Feather Arrow on the active. Feather Arrow on the active. And Arrow Ball for 120. Okay, so we're not completely out of this, especially if Andrew doesn't kill my Lugia. I feel like we might be okay-ish. We'll see. Alright. Understandable. 
Anthony Sycamore. Maybe I should have kept. Oh boy. <laughs> Is he just gonna heart retreat? Well, I guess he doesn't need to. He can just use Tempin. That's true. Uh, okay. Doesn't KO me for some reason. I guess we'll take that. Okay, so I I do have a Nodish Pride, so I'm gonna Feather Arrow for the KO here. I'm really surprised he didn't. Well, that's not the Oddish, that's not the Oddish. This is useful though, that's for sure. Certainly useful. Okay, so he has the free retreat, right? Yeah. This is my last grass though, so I can't just attach it to the Lugia. Um, okay, we do find the Vile Plume pieces, and we find this as well. So I kind of feel like these two is our best to get rid of, yeah. Okay, so we're still in this for sure, we're definitely still in this. And I'll play the Trainer's Mail for the end, really nice end right here. We'll evolve, we'll evolve, evolve, and we will Feather Arrow onto whom? I feel like onto this guy. Well, so who's the scariest one? I feel like this guy might actually be scarier. This guy always needs to, to, to be two shots, so... Okay, and then we'll air ball, right? Now Andrew's not guaranteed to even be able to attack this turn, which is really good for us. Really, really good. He's down two DCDs. Well, never mind. He can always attack. He's down three DCDs, actually. He can always attack with this guy, right? And always, always attack with that guy. Well, there's another DC. There's another Zorua. There's a stand-in. And there's a knockout with Mind Jack. All right. Okay. 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 So we'll definitely promote this guy. We're definitely ending Andrew to two. I'm definitely gonna play this guy. Let's take a look through my deck. Um, I don't have a full DC line. I do have so many DCs left though. I do have a DC to I prize, which means I could eventually set up a third. Um, okay. Okay, okay. It's that drum battle that's the issue. Because of the DT. Alright. So, I definitely want to take a knockout. Right? I definitely want to take a knockout. And I definitely want to take a start applying pressure over there. And I'll go right to I don't mind the Righteous Edge, actually. I don't mind it too, too much. I obviously can't sick of her, though. Yeah, he immediately promotes the Drum Bot. I wonder if he's just gonna deal damage to me. He could, right? He definitely could. He most certainly could. Oh my god. <laughs> Finds his Shaman. I really hope he doesn't hit energy. He probably will though, but I hope he doesn't. He's only down two. He's only down two. He places the stadium. I might have to give up on the Valve, honestly. Plays Professor Kukui. Does he find the energy? Does okay, so that's 150 damage. Yeah, I don't see how I play here because I'm out of energy. Basically. Well, I'm not out of energy. Yeah, I could just top the DC. That's what I need. Berserk 150, and that's not an energy. So. 
I don't, I can't win anymore. I'll go first. Yeah, I can't win anymore. No way for me to take three fights. As I attack, he KOs me. Um, I needed to draw a DC there, and then maybe I could have attacked with Lele. Uh, even then, I well, I could have attacked with Shaman, I guess. Um, it's okay. Like we had a very awkward early game, that's for sure. Very, very awkward early game. So now I'm going first. I will draw pass. He will draw pass. Okay. I will draw pass. He will draw pass. I will draw pass. He will draw pass. Decent hand. Can't evolve though. Just gotta remember that. Can't evolve. He does mulligan, which is kind of good news. Sometimes, I guess a little. I could just ultra wall for shaman, etc. Well, could ultra wall for Lele too. Okay, so we will get a mulligan off of this, which is great news. I will take the mulligan. All right, so I'll draw pass, and then Andrew will draw pass. There we go. Perfect. Now it's fixed. now we're all good. Ooh, nice top deck. Okay, so I'm gonna ultra wall away these two for the Oddish. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go bench Oddish, attach full stone, attach grass to this guy, and then I can't evolve. I need to remember I cannot evolve. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> what is this draw? <laughs> my gosh. I just hope my other Bowblum is not prized. I should know this. I just really hope my other Bowblum is not prized. They always do. Immediately punished. <laughs> Immediately punished. Okay. And please don't have the DT in hand. Ultra Wall. Ultra Wall and Via Seeker. Our Bablum got potentially saved. That's so unfortunate, though. So, so unfortunate. Um, I don't want to get rid of the two ends. Uh, let's check my deck, though. I would have had the other Bablum. So, do I grab something to discard for the pool? Nah. Nah, let's not. Okay. How ultimate, though? Four. You know what? I'm gonna grab Shaman. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the Shaman. Just draw a few cards. Maybe Sky Return. Uh, Forest, that's nice. That's definitely, definitely nice. I get to make the most out of that. You do find the grass, but I don't want to play the grass, though. 
That's the second draft I've lost. If I attach it, if I play it. Uh, I really want to just do damage. If I can this turn. And I will. I will. Ooh, and I will have the Wild Bloom. That is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's not great. Because he does have to drop out, so maybe I should be a little more conservative with my DC and just Sky Return here. Maybe that's actually the play. Yeah, I actually like that a lot more. And why not, right? Just Sky Return loop. Okay, not quite a second to see why. That's okay. So I kind of like pressuring the Zorua here. I like pressuring the Zorua. Alright, Sky Return for a little bit of damage. If Andrew doesn't have exactly Zora GT, I cannot be punished by this play in any way, shape, or form. Okay, Tachu there did have the Zorg. No, did have the Zorg, and we get End out of our BC. That's okay. Can we please find it? Can we please find it again? We do! Awesome! And the Shaman too. And the Defeat one. Nice. Things are looking up. That's for sure. Things are definitely, definitely looking much better this game. Much, much better. Alright, so I'll do this. I was able to find that super super lucky. Draw to do find the light center. Okay, I definitely feel like just going after the Zor is a good a good idea. We don't know if we have the DT or not. We're on a chance that he does not. Slowly but steady, slow, slowly but surely, we might win this game. Slowly but surely, we might just win this game. We see a stand-in. So we're gonna see a DT. <laughs> and that's okay. It's not the end of the world, right? It's definitely, definitely not the end of the world. Okay. So nice move by Andrew. However, I'm gonna start off by doing this, right? So goodbye Zork. I really wish I had an end right now. That'd be fantastic. So take my prize. And it promotes the Oranguru. So now, I really feel like I need to be a little more aggressive, perhaps. Don't need to recover anything. I am down 3 M. That's awful. Okay, I think I want to do this. And I'm gonna lie under this guy. And then I'm gonna retreat. And I'm gonna holo hunt. For the end and end the Lysander. Yep, I think that makes sense. I think that makes a lot, a lot of sense right here. And that way I can apply pressure. Oh my god, how does he have the DT all the time? <laughs> I did this on purpose. What the heck? <laughs> All right, I'm just I'm not gonna bother. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna feather arrow this time. What are the chances that he has it? <laughs> His third DT two with an over thirty cards in the deck. All right. Over 30 cards in his deck. <laughs> and the Kukui too. So perfect numbers for him. 
absolute perfect on this turn. Oh, I should have put one damage on the Trampa. And that's the fourth DCE. One. What? How does this man do it? How does he actually. I've lost. I've actually lost this game. I have actually lost this game right here. <laughs> How on earth does this happen? Oh my god. I've lost. Does he do it? Oh my god. I blocked it. But I can't lie under and end at the same turn in the same turn. I've lost. I've actually lost this game somehow. I have actually lost this game somehow. I do not understand how I lost. But I have. <laughs> yep, that's the game. Wow. What on earth just happened there? All four DCs. Alright, GG to Andrew, I guess we'll have to recover. That was an insane game. <laughs> um, how does he have all the DCs in hand? Well, that's the game I guess we play. And the Kukui. Oh, GG. I'll see you in the next